So this is a short video about how to do regression on uh, Microsoft Excel. Uh, in order to run a regression, you need to have um, the analysis tool pack to be uh, added in. So if you go to tools, Excel add-ins, uh, the analysis tool pack is right here and you click on okay and then it will actually include it. And then if you go to data tab, you will see a data analysis right here on the right hand side. If you click on it, you have a um, bunch of different um, statistical analysis, data analysis tools. If you click on regression, that's what we're gonna do. Now, the uh, regression that we're gonna do uh, is between the returns of S&P 500 and the returns of IBM. These are daily returns. And the dependent variable, and obviously this is just an exercise, so you could choose whichever one you want as a dependent variable, but for financial purposes, it's common that you actually have the stock uh, is the dependent uh, variable. So the stock is, or the stock returns uh, are explained by the market returns, right? So the dependent variable is the daily returns for IBM, which starts on uh, B1 and goes all the way down to B63. So I will enter uh, or you can just select the range from B1 all the way down to B63. The independent variable, this is uh, also known as the uh, control variable. This is the variable that explains the returns in or daily returns uh, for IBM. So in this case, we are trying to find how much uh, S&P 500 market returns explain the returns in IBM. So I'll go with um, C1 all the way down to um, C63. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. Now, I, I wanna make sure that labels are checked because I got labels here, IBM and S&P. It will make the table more meaningful. You could create a new worksheet ply. Uh, I just wanna have it in this page. So I like to have this as a table that starts on um, E1. So we'll start right here. And um, that's pretty much it. You hit click OK, and then you just wait for the results. So you have your R square that's uh, about 60, um, about 69, uh, 0.69. So it's a decent explanatory variable. So most of the um, variation in IBM's daily returns are explained by the variation in S&P 500. And um, you have 62 observations, and then um, your intercept, the alpha, you know, the um, equation that you have is y equals alpha uh, plus the coefficient times um, the x. Uh, in this case, the x is your um, independent variable, and that's the S&P 500, and Y is your dependent variable, and that's the IBM. And S&P 500 coefficient is 1.25, and your intercept, the, uh, the alpha, is negative 0 0.0024, which is incredibly small, which is almost equal to zero. So this, um, you know, assuming that your intercept is uh, very close to zero or zero, you basically say that if um, S&P 500 were to go up or down about 1.26%, you would have a very similar uh, movement by the daily return of IBM. So uh, this is not a causation, so you can't say that S&P 500 causes the IBM returns, but we can say that the variations in IBM's daily returns are explained by the variations in S&P 500 returns. So the R squared, uh, let's put it in English. Uh, if there were 100 reasons why IBM return changes in any given day, about 69% of those reasons are dependent on the market or market driven. And the correlation is, or the correlation coefficient is 1.25. And um, that's about it. Well, thank you.